and i applied uh, for uh, first company so uh, my capture mini and i applied for that in your page and then i got job uh, how important is data structure in this particular embedded domain what was the duration of the training period it was around 3 months what's your ctc so what are the key skill required uh, to work in this particular domain so as an embedded engineer like your work is in the software as well as in the hardware or just uh, in the software it's like we work on both So can we have your little uh, introduction? Okay, actually, I uh, uh, I've completed my studies in Chennai, mm-hmm. in under Anna University. My branch was EC at that time, and uh, I have uh, after completing after that I took a break. I was studying for another exam, and I applied uh, for uh, first company's uh, my capture mini, and I applied for that in your page, and then I got job. Uh, uh, I I got the call letter. after 2 uh, to 3 months itself so from that i am uh, still working cool so it's going on cool what's the duration of your working in the cap gemini so it's uh, 1.7 for now mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the bond is around 2 years okay so was the role in the cap gemini uh, my role was software uh, development okay and uh, it is the field is uh, embedded system Mm-hmm. embedded system embedded system okay cool uh-huh. uh huh so let's uh, talk about your background you are you uh, you are from the ec background right yes yes okay and you applied for the post of software engineer in the cap gemini yes mm-hmm. okay uh in the year 2022 Okay so let's talk about the training period uh so how was the training and what they taught you in the training okay so the training was about uh, c++ mm-hmm. and system programming so these were the two uh, main things we were focused and the training was going around for 3 months and after that they will uh, keep an exam to test our uh, like test whatever they have teach i mean taught us mm mm-hmm. Uh, accordingly they'll keep a test and it's like a filter okay. it's like we have to pass that test compulsory mm-hmm. so that's how and then you are good to go okay and like how did you got this embedded system actually when you go into a company uh, you have a lot of fields to go so it's based upon your interest there is uh, automotive there is embedded mm-hmm. system there is a uh, uh, testing so it's upon your wish like whatever you are interested and you have the skills and uh, you're good to go okay means they do give you the choices after the training completion right not choices mm-hmm. it is like they have a lot of projects and uh, they just filter according to your skills extra skills okay whatever they have given training apart mm-hmm. from that if you have extra skills you can go into that uh, particular field okay cool so basically in the embedded system like uh, it is different from what you taught in the training right because in the embedded system you required c or the embedded c programming and so this yes. thing they taught you in the training or you have done the self study for that i have done self study and uh, it was around one year training from external institute so mm-hmm. based upon the requirements they again train you in that field and then uh, how, that's how the process is Okay so like so what are the key skill required uh, to work in this particular domain So I went to institute mm-hmm. so the so they just gave you a basic foundations uh, in a C C is very important in embedded system and then uh, linux okay. linux programming and next data structures and algorithms is very important okay. and after that and you have to uh, uh, master C in the sense you have to learn advanced c mm. and at last the microcontroller programming in the sense you have to take a microcontroller particular microcontroller and you have to play with that once if you are done with every this this kind of basics and you are good to go into the embedded embedded system field mm. cool and like uh, how important is data structure in this particular embedded domain uh in the sense how the program how the program is extracted how it is processed you have to know all that the whole is working functionalities and everything so in order to know that you have to know the data structures and algorithms and it is easy when you are 
learning the C itself. When you are learning the C and you are side by side, if you are learning the data structures also, it will be easy for you to learn. Okay, so basic requirement is you should learn these basic C, and yes. after that you can go for the data structure, right? Yes. Uh, what role play the embedded C programming like? Uh, yeah, that's what. So microcontroller programming, basically, after you complete it, mm -hmm. uh, you if it is like if you learn one particular microcontroller, the data sheets are all there. Mm -hmm. So it is like when you jump on to the next version of microcontroller, everything is same. Mm -hmm. You just have to change some uh, here and there in ports, pins. That's all. You have to configure those kind of uh, uh, things. And mm -hmm. rest all is same. So if you are mastering one particular microcontroller and that's all, mm -hmm. it is like you're uh, open to learn every, I mean, most of the microcontroller. Okay. So like uh, which one you have started the basic microcontroller? Yeah. Very basic. I have started this PIC microcontroller, mm -hmm. uh, the PIC 16F A77A I have started. So it is very basic mm -hmm. and uh, just starting with the basic and I jumped on to the STM. Okay. And that's all. This both I have learned, and that is uh, so far is enough. Okay, so these things, these two microcontroller was provided by your uh, the training institute or like in by the company of Capgemini, or by your own. You did all these things. In my training institute, they just gave me the basic uh, PIC mm -hmm. related things, and in my company, they gave a STM. Okay. So both, uh, it is easy. If once, if you're starting with the very basic microcontroller and you are jumping to the next, it is very easy. So uh, it, it was like very easy for me to learn as I have already studied yeah. the basic of PIC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like uh, when you joined the Capgemini, at the time they trained you uh, in basic C, what was the duration of the training period? It was around three months. Okay. Three, three months. to four months. Mm -hmm. And after that, you jump into the embedded C, right? Embedded. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So like before getting the project in the embedded, did the company that Capgemini trained you uh, in the embedded as well? Yes. Yes. They trained me because yeah. at that time it mm -hmm. was like it, it took over another embedded company. Okay. So they just wanted people related to our department like EC, mm -hmm. EEE, mm -hmm. those people. So that's how they recruited only the electrical people. And they trained us in Embedder also. Okay, so how long was the training period for Embedded? That was that was around just two two months, mm -hmm. I'd say. Okay, and like uh, they used to teach you, like uh, they used to teach in the institute, or it was like uh, they just give you the microcontroller and you have to play with that. No, they don't. They don't teach you everything in detail. They just mm -hmm. give the documents and video tutorials and mentors. If you have any doubts, we could reach out to mentors. And mm -hmm. they gave us the board, and they formed a group. Mm -hmm. So it was very uh, easy to interact and to learn easily. And it was like that. And it was just two months, and we completed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And like, what tool generally we use in the industry? Can you name some of them? Okay. Uh, if you are, if I, I will go with the pick first. Mm -hmm. For the pick, we have to go to, like, we have to have two tools. That is XC8 compiler, that one, and that's all. That one and uh, microchip related software. Mm -hmm. So these two tools are very important. And if you're jumping onto the STM, for the STM microcontroller, you have this STM cube IDE. That is the only one tool related to the STM microcontroller. Okay, so are these open these source the, as well? Yes, yes, these are open source. You can download it and you can start away, right away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as an embedded engineer, like your work is uh, in the software as well as in the hardware or just uh, in the software? It's like we work on both. Mm -hmm. uh, like software, in sense, we have to develop, we have to design, okay. and then we have to flash that into that microcontroller and to check and see, that's all. Mm -hmm. So it's like very simple in the sense both have equal, I would say, equally we'll do software and hardware part. Okay, so means you are working on both the domain, like software as well as the hardware part, right? So yes, that's cool. That's what embedded is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's not okay. like you. Mm -hmm. It's not like you just completely go in the software uh, mm -hmm. side. It's like you have you should know or you should know the hardware also and also the software. Only then you can check what is the mistake you have done, what and how to rectify it. So that's how embedded is. You have to know both. Okay. So these are the basic requirements. So as a like presser who is just currently getting passed out or right now in the final year or third year, or 
in btech in electronics and communication so how do uh, they work so that they can get a domain in embedded system uh yeah that's what i said like c programming is must so learn all the basics basic of c and be strong in that have that basic foundation and then go for the linux in linux programming that, that is also very easy small small commands is that only the commands is necessary for linux uh, internals mm. and then after that you just know the c++ programming not a must that you have to learn it completely but just know what is what in c++ and then the data structures data structures and algorithms is important because you know you have to know the os functionality uh and in that you have this uh, uh single linked list and sorts of things that is important and after learning the data structures and algorithms you just go and jump into the microcontroller programming take any microcontroller and uh, s- install the tools and start from scratch in sense how to blink leds how to toggle it how to uh, give uh, inputs outputs connect with sensors play with that and that's all once you know everything how the, how it is working and what is what in microcontroller programming and then you're good to go if you ask me this is very basics for a fresher once if you are knowing this uh, you are uh, good to go yeah this is very basic right yes these are the basic things which you have to keep in mind uh, if you want to get into the embedded system okay so talking about like it's currently work from home or work from office or the hybrid when you get once once you get into a project it is based on the manager and mm. also the project requirements if you, if they want you to come to office you can um, you have to every day otherwise it is 3 days per week for me it is 3 days per week we have to go okay great and uh, okay so let's talk about your college days so in the final year you had the projects right yes uh, final year uh, uh, we have to do one project compulsory mm. and it's your wish you can do extra projects but according to me if you're going into an embedded it's good to do a small real time projects and keep it because uh, final year projects is not enough if you mm. ask me because it may be in any field so related to embedded if it is there that is okay if it's not there if you want to go into embedded field it's good to uh, like do small time projects mm. by the end of the fourth year okay so uh, can you share your projects yes uh, i have done uh, 3d printer which is related to mechanical mm-hmm. uh, engineering and I, like it is like it uh, i had interest in that and before doing that i had uh, done 2d printer so that's what inspired me to do 3d printer so it was easy because when we have the sm- uh, understanding about 2d it's very easy to uh, do 3d so i have done the 3d printer in the final year okay uh, so basically in the 3d printer what are the key requirements uh nothing much you should know the temperature of uh, the melting of the filament mm-hmm. that is very main thing and the axis measuring uh, the axis properly like for the 3d the measurements is very important and the length of how it prints how it like when the filament is melted and we have to set some limit in the sense the length of it it is layer upon layer kind of uh, creation of a uh, products right mm-hmm. for each layer you have to know like how, how many how like how much mm it should be set and after that temperature setting and after that bed setting that is in, easy if you ask me and uh, after that filament and everything you do, don't have to know properly the only the thing is you have to know the temperature and you have to know the axis control and the measurement things mostly most probably okay, which you so, can find in internet itself and uh, did you use any microcontroller no no i didn't use any microcontroller it is okay. related to mechanical yeah so okay. no i didn't use so basically uh, in that particular thing i think we will uh, we use the plc system right yes yes that you use that yeah great okay so now what's your future plan a uh, future plan i don't have much i am just thinking to uh, get some experience and jump on to the products uh, product based company and uh, i'll try to learn the work i'll try to learn how the process is and if possible i can set up my own company in future if possible i just have that thing in my mind okay. but 
starting it was very difficult because uh, it's very challenging for mm-hmm. to go into embedded field because you have to know everything in detail if not you are just doomed so you, it's, it's okay to take time just take time and learn step by step and mm-hmm. uh, uh, surf the web and see uh, what what and all you can do what what can, what and all you can learn learn everything step by step even if it takes time and then after you learned everything and basics properly uh you are very very much what to say you can go inside easily mm. whatever be the company yeah true uh, so like ben when you joined uh, cap gemini you are not aware of it right because uh, you joined as a software engineer because that was the post for particularly yes. for software engineer yes like so i didn't know that how it works and how yeah. they take us mm. and all but uh, i just found out and i took time it took nearly 1.5 years for me to go into embedded mm. and uh, i took extra training also and also that i i have done lot of uh, mini projects and so and uh, t- basics is like we have to keep on recapping we have to revise everything basics and everything so at the uh, same time i was doing this also and i got into and i'm doing uh, good for now yeah because this is the dream of many uh, ec engineer basically like they want to get into the embedded field or the vlsi field and but only few of them uh, get the chance to work in this particular domain right so you yes. got you got the one of them that uh, it's not difficult but if you have that uh, what to say that fire in you you can do it mm. so it is based upon you the process yeah. the thing process whatever you have in your mind you have to do it you have to do it that's all so like uh, what's what's your ctc uh, basically it was 4 and mm-hmm. then it is 4.8 and it increases yearly mm-hmm. based upon your performance okay so like is there any difference uh, in the ctc of the embedded engineer or, or the one who is working the software field actually the a uh, company like minor service based right mm, so yeah. it is not that much difference so once if you are going to a product maybe you will have a high package mm. based upon your work yeah great uh, so like uh, are you aware of like rfid rfid i am aware but not much okay any any like you are, do you have any interest in the antennas or anything like that oh uh, no i don't have any <laughs> i had but not now Okay. Good. Antenna is very different. Uh, yeah, field. different field from the because it's RF part of the communication field. Yes, yes, it is completely completely different. Creating mm-hmm. antennas and uh, everything. Yeah. It doesn't come under us. Embedded. Yeah, embedded system. Yes. So, so like, how, how how do you keep you updated? Means what do you basically you do for that? Nothing much. I just go and search YouTube videos and I just see. That's all. That's uh, very easy. Okay. Then searching. Mm. Okay, so this is the last segment of this podcast. So the uh, top things you learned in this particular company. Top things. Mm. So you have to act professional, be professional. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't uh, necessarily uh, make and don't think uh, friends because uh, in corporate life there is no such thing. Be professional, do your work, come off, and then keep learning, learning because there is no end gate at all. and then the third thing is give a time for yourself other than the work out that's great right. so thank you sangeeta for thank joining you. this podcast and it was great talking thank you. to you i learned so much about Same the medical system also. and sure. hope to you connect with again sure so, sure so thank you very much so take care and all the thank best you. for the future bye bye thank you thank you same to you bye